Automotive electronics is probably one of the most, if not the most important uh, trend in the global automotive industry today. Um, it really impacts on every part of the car, uh, so powertrain, infotainment, safety, convenience and comfort. And really we're seeing that where global OEMs were once uh, sort of masses of aerodynamics, of engine design, of, of powertrain, um, they're really having to become specialists in technology, uh, in communication uh, and in semiconductors. And in fact, what we're actually seeing from IHS's consumer research is that uh, consumers are really putting a lot of value uh, on electronics and technology with regard to the purchasing decision. Uh, so it's really becoming important, it's becoming a key factor uh, in the overall buying decision. There's a number of factors that are really uh, pushing technology in, in cars uh, that we see today. Uh, firstly, there's the ubiquity of technology that's coming from consumer electronics, um, and that's pushing down the prices of a lot of components, so things like semiconductors, uh, screens, LEDs are a lot cheaper uh, and can be used more widely in automotive. Um, we're seeing growing demand for, for better safety in vehicles, so particularly in, uh, in North America and Europe there's been good progress with education on drink driving, but still a lot of people are, are hurt or are killed in, in road traffic accidents, so um, bringing technology to bear um, with collision avoidance, collision mitigation, um, is bringing a lot of new technology into the vehicle. Um, one of the other trends that we see is, is increasing electrification of the, of the powertrain. Um, so we see at the moment uh, hybridisation, uh, stop-start technology to reduce emissions, and then longer term uh, to comply with global legislation on CO2, we see increasing use of plug-in hybrid electric vehicles and battery electric vehicles. So we're seeing the impact of electronic technology in automotive in virtually every area, but probably uh, two of the most important or two of the most dynamic are infotainment. So when, when drivers are using navigation or their audio system, um, we talk about this concept of ubiquity of connection. Um, they're very used to using their smartphone uh, when they're in the house, when they're out with their friends, and they want to continue that experience when they're, when they're in the vehicle. So they want to be able to make use of um, not just their telephone and their music, but they, they also want to be able to make use of their applications uh, and other features of their phone. Uh, the second area that, that's really exciting is, is advanced driver assistance systems. So there's a lot of legislation uh, in North America and Europe uh, to improve the safety of vehicles, and we're seeing this add a lot of technological um, innovation and, and hardware to vehicles, and, and perhaps one of the most exciting long-term trends is autonomous driving. And this is really big news for, for the automotive industry um, because it's going to challenge a lot of the uh, existing design considerations, a lot of the business models. Um, it's going to impact the, the insurance industry. Uh, if driving becomes safer, uh, what does it do for liability? What does it do for insurance claims? Uh, and really we see that as being one of the, the kind of longest, longer term, most dynamic trends in the automotive industry. The car of the future, um, if we look out 10 years, is, is going to be significantly different to, to what we see uh, today. If we look at infotainment, um, we, we can expect to see a, a raft of technologies come into, into the vehicle uh, and be distributed on a wider range of vehicles. So we'll see uh, things like touch technology widely being used. We'll start to think, see things like um, proximity sensing, sensing, gesture recognition. Uh, and we'll start to see uh, connectivity being much more widely used. Uh, so people being able to uh, connect to the internet whilst they're travelling, uh, use Google uh, through their vehicle head unit, for example, to kind of search for locations. Um, in addition to that, uh, we see big advances in autonomous driving. Um, so towards the end of that 10-year period, we expect to start to see um, autonomous driving becoming more of a reality. Uh, so at the moment, uh, we already have a number of uh, advanced driver assistance systems that, that could contribute. Uh, to that type of implementation, um, to making use of radar uh, and LIDAR to detect um, other cars and to detect the, the surroundings of the vehicle. Um, and then we also expect to see additional advances in uh, powertrain electrification. Um, so we already have hybridisation at the moment in a number of vehicles, and that's primarily for, for fuel saving. Uh, and we'll expect to see that technology being used more widely, and we'll expect to see greater prevalence of plug-in hybrid electric vehicles and battery electric vehicles and, and all of those technologies uh, require more uh, more hardware, more electronic hardware, more semiconductor content and will really boost uh, this electronic content within the vehicle. 
So the technology that's coming into vehicles at the moment poses uh, significant challenges for, for OEMs and uh, tier ones who are supplying to the automotive industry. Um, there's an argument that says uh, that some of the developing technologies might kill the car as we know it, um, but, but certainly what they will do is change the way uh, automobiles are designed and change the way that consumers interact with them and, and buy those vehicles. So OEMs and suppliers need to uh, keep abreast of, of current technologies, understand what their competitors are doing, understand what's currently available and where key trends in semiconductors, uh, infotainment, ADAS are going. Um, but also they need to partner with some of the new companies who are getting into this space. So um, we see companies like Google, uh, we see companies like Apple making a, making a play in automotive. Um, and, and what OEMs and suppliers need to do is partner with those with those companies uh, and make use of uh, the, the sort of inno innovations that they're able to drive.